Hi there! We've just released another update on Mnemonic. Let me show you what's new. The gathering mode is useful if you're researching a topic, say you're looking for a new flat. You select an existing folder or you create a new one. What's new in this release is that you now can also set the privacy. With the gathering mode active, you simply clip as many nodes as you want. All your nodes will be stored in the selected folder and have the preferred privacy setting. No need to manually organize your nodes anymore, a real time saver. Today we've also released a labs feature and we'd like to hear what you think about it. To enable it, go to your accounts page, scroll down to the lab section and enable the new dashboard. You'll see a new tab. It's a stream of all your relevant activities on Mnemonic. That can be notes from your friends, group activities, news from us about Mnemonic and much much more. Comments will also show up here and you can reply right from the dashboard. The same goes for notes. Just click on them and they open right on the dashboard. The dashboard is still pretty bare bones right now, but we have big plans for it. Please give it a try and let us know what you think. We love our new iPhone and Android apps, but not everybody has such a smartphone. As of today, you can access all your notes with your mobile phone's browser. Simply go to money.com and you'll see a mobile-friendly, reduced-to-the-max interface. It's easy to use and very light on bandwidth. Right now it's still read-only. You can read through your collection, groups and the dashboard. But we plan to bring simple note-taking and search in the future as well. That's it. As usual, if you have any feedback or any questions, please contact us at comment at